The Missouri Department of Natural Resources is testing the water at Brush Creek in Kansas City to figure out what killed dozens of fish. KCTV 5's Carolina Cruz reached out to the State Conservation Department, spoke with a man who was shocked by the piles of dead freshwater fish. Carolina? Yeah, guys, this is typically an area that people used to bike and walk and get some fresh air. Right now, it is anything but that. And that is because the decomposing fish in this area, the stench, it's a bit overwhelming. Riding to Brush Creek early Monday morning, Terrence McKelvey smelled something funky. He didn't think much of it until. Parked my bike and uh, decided to walk down to the water's edge, and that's when I noticed um, all of these dead fish. It felt like the hook to an eerie movie. It was kind of alarming, actually. A fisheries biologist with the Missouri Department of Conservation counted more than 100 dead carp and more than 75 small sunfish floating east of the Country Club Plaza. McKelvey documented the striking sight on Facebook Live. Man, look at this, man. Those are all fish. He didn't I, I expect it to cause can... this much of a stink. As I started reading through some of the comments, I realized that, well, maybe this is more of an issue than just a wow, look at this kind of deal. Well, I'm sorry he had to see it. I, we wish for healthy ecosystems in the, in the conservation department. Bill Graham with MDC says fish kills in the area are common in the summertime. One reason is because hot water doesn't hold oxygen as well as cold water, and the water level is shallow right now, allowing it to heat up faster. But also they say in this area of older Kansas City, the sanitary and the stormwater sewer systems are combined. And when you get heavy rains, it's possible that it's connected to the heavy rain event of last week, where really heavy rains overload the system and put sewage into Brush Creek. Nature will take its course and the fish will decompose. The smell was just horrendous yesterday. It was, and this was 630 in the morning. Until then, McKelvey hopes this doesn't become a regular sight or scent. I spoke with Maggie Green at the Kansas City Department of Public Works within the last hour, and she says that crews with uh, the city, they checked the pipes recently, and they did not see any leaks of any contaminant or maybe any sewage. But she says that those rains last Friday could have overwhelmed the system, causing some of that storm water to get into Brush Creek. They won't know for certain, though, until those water sample tests come back. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. All right, Carolina, thank you.